Welcome back to What RT Noobs. Uh, what you're looking at is an IS-6. It's a Soviet Tier 8 premium heavy tank, and it's located on the north spawn of steps under the command of Andromeda. Well, he started off by knocking down the camp, which is also a useful thing to do at the start of the game. I do it myself. Gives you a bit of extra ammo on the vehicle. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. It's just, uh, it's good practice actually, because it uh, takes away any cover that the enemy might try to use. And, uh, well, Andromeda's headed off down to the east side of the map. He's got a 122mm gun with 390 Alpha. The only problem about this tank is it doesn't have very good penetration. The maximum it can do, 186 with standard AP. Now it does have one thing that most heavies don't have, and that's preferential matchmaking. It can never see tier 10s, it can only see tier 9s. And of course, as you may have known or uh, may have heard, Wargaming were actually going to take away the preferential matchmaking for this tank until they changed their minds. Now that uh, 390 Alpha is actually quite useful. And the reload time is not bad either. Oh, took a round from an E25. Okay. Well, we know somebody's up ahead. I don't know where that round went in, though. Sure. Can't see. Oh, is that through the front plate? Now this tank actually was going to be built by the Soviets, but so they deemed that it wasn't really superior to the KV-4, and so they actually uh, stopped the production, cancelled it. And we've taken a round from an enemy GW Panther, and that suggests he's actually down in the southeast corner of the map. And I think that Andromeda's going to try and come up over this uh, rock. It's a trick that I tend to do, use as well, but he's only got six degrees of gun depression, which means coming up over this rock, you have to expose yourself quite a bit before you can actually get the gun to bear on the targets. But that doesn't seem to be a problem. He's found the E25, and he's run away like a cockroach that he is, scurrying away once the lights were on. Now, can you get the gun to bear? Yes, he does. It's a nice hit on him. Unfortunately, he's being highlighted for the enemy team. Um, he is receiving fire. He just bounced around to the stirrer mill. Puts another round into the E25. He's got light armor compared to the IS-6. And he's been killed. T-44 got him. Okay, now there's just the matter of that RT and this stirrer mill. Stirrer mill's down. T-44 got him. Now, what else is over there? Well... The enemy seems to have suffered quite badly on the west side of the map. And there's the GW Panther, and he's not in the south east corner, he was actually in the rocks. But we're dialing in on his position, we get him! 360 hit points off him. Now, can we get that other GW? There he is, running. Yes! Gets the kill. I think that's a Pascucci's. Okay, we've loaded. Now there is a charioteer over there, but I think he's in the centre, so it's going to be difficult to get shots on him. And this is the other reason coming over here. That's the Dimitrius. He's taken out the other GW Panther. So that all three GW Panthers killed by Andromeda. Dimitrius medal. Very nice. Of course, the lack of penetration on the IS-6 doesn't really matter when the uh, tank you're firing at has very low armour, as in an RT. So, uh, yeah, it really does help then. But up against heavy tanks, the uh, IS-6 does struggle. Well, there's only one enemy left. It's an LT-432. We're capping. He's got to come back, and now he's been killed. So, end of game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. That was a very quick game. 
And it's the third class tank of Andromeda in the IS-6. He picked up a Reaper medal. He killed three enemy tanks with one shot in a row. Uh, in fact, actually, it was all three RTs he got with one shot in a row. He picked up a Fire for Effect and a Bruiser medal. And he did pick up a Demetrius medal for killing three SPGs in one battle. And the win eight for that game, 2359, which is very good. Uh, not Unicom standard, but very good. And let's have a look at the team score. Well, there you go. He's actually in third place on his team with uh, 1,666 hit points. The top scorer was the uh, high caliber was, um, well, he wasn't a high caliber, actually. He only got 1,726 hit points was the Tiger P. And then came the E25 with 1,701. Uh, after Andromeda, it was actually the charioteer on the enemy team. He got 1,638. When it came to kills, uh, the high scorer was, in fact, actually shared between Andromeda uh, the LTTB both got three kills apiece. They could have platooned, but they didn't, unfortunately. And when it came to base XP, well, Andromeda was a little further down the table with 717. The E25 got 857. The IS-3A got 770. And the AMX 1357 picked up 719. He fired five shots in that game, got five direct hits, five penetrations, and damage of 1,666 hit points. Uh, 547 hit points of which was at more than 300 meters and those were the shots on the RT. He received four hits during the game, one penetration, two non-penetrations and one hit as a result of splash damage. Well the penetration came from the E25, the non-penetrations, one of those was definitely from the steering mill, I think the other one might have been from the E25 and the splash damage one that was from a GW Panther. He blocked damage of 625 hit points, he spotted two enemy vehicles, those were the RT, and damaged four of the enemy, killed three of them, and did damage assistance for 154 hit points, and managed to get 13 capture points while he was in the cap. On a premium count, he earned 61,272 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, took away 29,345 credits. He received uh, five bonds for getting Dimitrius. It's a valuable medal. It's pretty difficult to actually get most games, especially at this tier, because you're up against some opponents who really know what to do if uh, an enemy tank comes looking after their arty. Um, he earned 1,075 XP times two for the first victory of the day. Got 108 for this being a premium vehicle. Took away 2,259 experience points altogether. So three RTs killed, not team killing, uh, killing them properly because they were the Red Arty, they're the enemy, and therefore they deserve to be killed. And uh, nicely done. If you enjoyed that replay, please give it a like, and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.